The O'Moore men arrived at Ockram keen to improve on their previous performance against Kildare, but Wicklow didn't make it an easy day at the office for them. Leash started the much stronger of the two and were 1-3 to a point up after just 11 minutes, thanks to a goal from the impressive Gary Walsh who totted up 1-3 in the opening half. On target shots from Donny Kingston, David Conway, Colin Begley and John O'Loughlin, coupled with some wayward shooting from Wicklow, meant that the visitors went in at the break, 1-8 to 5 points. The second half continued much the same as the first. Again, Leash were quick off the mark. Donny Kingston opening their second half account. Soon Leash were eight points ahead with Trevor Collins making his presence felt. Even after losing their captain to a black card in the 41st minute, Peter Creedon's team looked to be cruising to a comfortable victory. Substitute John McGrath was a big influence for the Garden County. Unlucky here, but Johnny McGee's men proceeded to hit four out of six points to narrow the gap to six, before Paul Cunningham's effort in the 52nd minute briefly closed it down to three. Yeah! Leach responded well, finding two points. And after a long ball, Donny Kingston netted a second goal for the O'Moores in the 60th minute. Leash went on to lead by nine for most of the last ten minutes. Enough in most circumstances to finish a game. But Wicklow, outscoring their opponents 3-6 to 1-8 in the second half, made Leash earn it. When substitute Paddy Byrne got past Green Brody, and within a minute, another goal from corner forward Paul Cunningham. Leash were lucky to just about hold on to their three-point lead, surviving Auckland 2-16 to 3-10.